What's up, guys? Welcome back to this portion of my channel. Thank you for watching this one. In this video, it's another straightforward video about running social media ads for your music. In this one, I'm covering my song called Free as a Bird. I'm Zebra. And Free as a Bird, I released back in 2022. I ran the ad mostly throughout the whole year on and off because it was a very powerful running ad. I had averages of as low as nine to 10 cents a month cost per result. It was always averaging around 11 to 14 cents and targeting majority of Spotify countries. And then I turned it off in the beginning of this year, 2023, and then nine, 10 months down the road, I was like, let's turn that ad back on. The song's not really popping anymore. Uh, so I did, I, I ran it in the month of November for four weeks, about $5 a day ad. And for the first two weeks, I just turned on the old ad to see how it would do. And it ran almost just as strong as it did 10 months ago without me even tweaking it. Then the latter part of November, the last two weeks, I turned off that ad and duplicated it. And then I only targeted tier one and two country, tier one and tier two countries, which is mostly Western Europe, United States, Canada, Australia, and et cetera, et cetera. So with that said, I'm gonna go over all that. I'm gonna show you how I made the ad, showed you what I created for it. And we're just gonna, yeah, and look into my results as well. Everything I've done in the past and previous videos, videos you're, I'm gonna do in this one today. And like I mentioned, this was a powerful running ad in the past. So, and I've talked about this in other videos. If you have a strong performing ad, once you, all you need is one. You use that to your advantage and you leave it on as long as possible. You, you could lower the budget, just leave it on because you're gonna see results coming in massively. You're gonna see people trickling to your other social medias, following you here and there, checking you out on other music platforms. It's only gonna benefit you in the long run as long as you keep that ad on. And finally, before we get into this video, I just wanna let you know that no matter what type of music you make, what genre you create, you can grow your following, your fan base, running social media ads. I don't want to make the greatest music, to be honest with you, but I found an audience that likes it, and I've grown a following because of running social media ads. So with that said, if, if you're running an ad and it's not clicking, it's not necessarily the music. You have to look at what you are advertising, as in the marketing, the visual concept, visual advertisement that people are seeing. because. Not always people are attracted to what they're hearing, but it's also what they're seeing, what you're advertising. So you also got to play around with your marketing because it's not necessarily the music that they don't like. It's sometimes visually it doesn't catch them in in those one to two seconds you have on this scroll to scroll um, scrolling world we're in right now, um, scrolling culture of um, reels and TikTok and whatnot. You only have one to two seconds to captivate someone to catch them. So it's, it's usually the visual. If you can catch them in the visual, then you're good to go. I always thought like if I was releasing a track and I didn't think it was that strong of a track or I was like, oh, it's more of the weaker side. I always created something visually captivating or eye-catching to balance, to counterbalance that. And it's worked. So I hope that that is words of encouragement to if you haven't ran a social media ad or if you are running a social media ad, keep on pushing because eventually you'll get there and you'll, and everything will be rocking and rolling, like I said. All right, guys, let's get in this video. All right, guys, so now we are in Free as a Bird, my campaign. This is Ads Manager. And as you can see in the top right, it's November 1st to November 30th, 2023. And these are the two. So the one that's currently still on actually is uh, the tier two, as you see in the left-hand side. And the, the one down here, free as a bird, black, white, video, long version. This one was targeting pretty much all the countries possible except India and a few countries in Asia. So this we call this tier three one to one to three tier three countries and as you can see i spent a total of 144 in a month it was average around five dollars a day first couple weeks i ran it through maybe the 15th 16th of november so it went to 77 and then this is when i duplicated it and tier two and it i spent 67 dollars 
and the conversion wasn't that much different. So honestly, both banging running ads and I can't complain. See, this is what I targeted. Um, pretty much all these countries, 22, 24. And what I did, because this is a, a genre of techno music, I just targeted all artists that were uh, techno, except I had a DJ mag here, but mix mag, but all, and drum code rec re records is a techno label, but all artists. And I did manual placements, and this is what I did for the manual placements, Facebook feed, Instagram feed, video feeds, Instagram Explorer. This is pretty standard. And then I did all stories, Messenger, Facebook, IG stories, and Facebook Reels. I This is pretty much standard what I've been doing most recently. I do Facebook Reels when I target everything, um, meaning more countries. And then when I do tier one, tier two countries, I do Instagram Reels. It's just a preference. I like it. I've uh, that's what I'm just going through at the moment. And add Instagram videos and Facebook search results. <clears throat> so we're gonna go, go in the ad itself. And this is what the ad looks like. This is what I created for it. There it is. So that is kind of the what I call the eye-catching videos. A lot of that, I'll be honest with you, I found stock footage and I just re-edited it. You know, I put a lot of visual effects. Obviously, it doesn't. It looks probably it looks a lot different than what the stock footage looked like. But I did that all in Final Cut Pro, and you can do it too. It just takes practice and experimentation, but. And all of us can do something like this. It just takes time and practice. Um, but anyways, so as you saw, that was in the ad. Primary text says, techno sounds to uplift you through your day. Take a break and feel the kick drum. Headline, which is down below here, as you see, uh, where it says next, now listen now, be free as a bird and let go of these techno vibes. That's part of the whole ad itself. I'm just gonna go in the, the tier two to show you real quick. Um, as you can see, these are all, as I scroll the countries, tier one and tier two. So France, Germany, Romania, Hungary, Iceland, Luxembourg, Portugal, Poland, Hong Kong, Austria, Australia, Greece, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, UK, United Arab Emirates, Switzerland, Sweden, United States, minor outlying islands, Spain, South Korea, South Africa, Singapore, Canada, Norway, y you get the drift. Um, and the same thing, I, I, I just targeted the artist in this one. And like I said, with tier one and tier two, all I did was change, the, the only thing I changed in this was the reels I did in Scram Reels. Seems to be, seems to work, honestly. And I didn't change anything. I just basically just duplicated the ad, which if you were on the left-hand side, you just go duplicate, original campaign, and then you, voila, it's done. And as uh, I use Tone Den as my landing page, toneden.io, so that was a quick rundown of the ad itself. Um, I'll go over a, a little bit more in depth of how I actually created it um, step by step. 
but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of that's the inside of the ad. Let's go into my Spotify for artists and I'll show you the results I gained in that month of November. Um, so here we are, free as a bird, custom. So here are the results. 2,000 streams, 1,000 listeners, 2.1 streams per listener, 230 playlist ads, 271 saves. These are great numbers, honestly, for a month that you're running $5 a day. You have run over 200 playlist ads, I think that's pretty good. Save rate's fairly high, and this is all from like a $5 a day ad. Started out as 43 when I first turned it on, because it, like I said, it wasn't really pumping, and then kind of stayed around that actually oh it went up to 70s and 80s and 90s when it would add on so I actually want to go back and ads manager and I wanted to show you exactly when I the last month I kept this on before taking that break which was January of 2023 so as you can see it was a tier 3 one I spent $136, so a little bit less than running $5 a day ad, around four to, four to five, and the conversion was 10 cents cost per result. So I'm gonna go in and show you actually what the month of January was. My Spotify for artists. This one had more streams, 3,500, 1,500 listeners, 2.2 .2 streams per listener, not much different, but less playlist ads, 194 and 311 saves. The streams were a lot higher because I kept the ad, like I mentioned, throughout most of 2022, so it was a snowball effect. So these numbers were gradually getting higher and higher over time because I kept the ad on. Once you leave the ad off, things are gonna die down a bit and it's gonna, like I took nine, 10 months off not running this ad. Eventually the numbers started going back down, getting like 30, 40 streams a day. You pump it back up, it gradually will get higher and higher again. But again, it's just like starting all over because that snowball effect has, has melted basically. You need to start it up again and rev it up and, um, and that takes time. And, and uh, money <laughs> ultimately in the end real quick I wanted to show you the numbers I forgot to mention for the first uh, half of the month I ran this November ad with tier one two three countries and as you can see playlist ads saves 166 thousand saves I changed it from the 16th to the 30th to when I duplicated the ad these are the results for that still a thousand streams but the playlist ads were a little bit lower and the saves were a little bit lower so it's not much a big difference um, partially because the cost per result was lower it was 14 cents versus the 16 cents when it was targeting on the more richer countries but those are that, that's a quick glance of those results right there and I'll show you the results right now on the locations. So Mexico, Mexico is still high, Germany, Poland, United States, Japan, Sweden, Spain, Chile, Colombia. So it's a, it's quite of a nice mix since I had all the countries at one point and then I converted it to the top tier countries. As you can see, Budapest, w w Warsaw, Athens and Dublin are top tier and then Guatemala City, Sandy, Santiago, Guatemala City and Bogota are tier three countries, but it's a, it's a nice mix. All right, I'm gonna show you how to create how I created this ad very quickly. Uh, I've done videos on this in the past, but I'll just show you how I did this ad. So you're gonna go to create. You're gonna hit engagement. That's always keys. You're gonna hit continue. You're gonna go manual engagement campaign. And now you're in your campaign. You're gonna name your campaign. Free as a bird.
you're going to hit next. You're going to name your engagement ad set, whatever you want to name it. You're going to go down to where it says choose where you want to drive your engagement. You want to drive it to a website, your landing page. Toneden.io is what I use as my landing page. You're going to cl correct, click the appropriate pixel that you have set up. And then for conversion event, you want to do always view content. Those are the key things you want to do. You always want to do that. And then you set your budget. You go down to your locations. I should told, showed you what the locations are. You can just copy and paste that or do all the countries. I always recommend excluding if you're doing all the countries. India and most of Asia. I would exclude all that except Japan. Um, until you have a, a great foundation of running ads and your pixel knows what's up and you understand it more, I I just stay away from targeting most of Asia in the beginning. And then for advantage, advantage audience, I would just go switch to original audience and then you could put um, your age, whatever that is, um, your genders, and then this is where you put your art targeting audience, whether it's dance music, bop, it's up there, wow, it's almost a billion, country, you know, hip hop, oops, country, country music, 540, hip hop, whatever your genres are, whatever you want to target, artists, magazines, festivals, uh, events, the, it's endless what you really can uh, target. The mood, you could do chill music, down tempo, uh, relaxing music, high energy, rave. You could, there's so many things and activities and events that you could target and, and test. But the simplest way to do it is find the appropriate genre and target that. If there is one, if there's not, then you're going to have to think outside the box a little bit. Find artists that are resemble that music that you create. <clears throat> then advantage placements, you're going to hit edit and you're going to do manual placements like I mentioned. You know, you, I like doing, like I said, Facebook feed, Instagram feed. You can do Instagram profile feed, maybe... Uh, Instagram Explorer, this is just random. Stories and Reels, depending on what you do. I, I just like clicking one of them. If you click, like I said, one to, one to three tier countries, Facebook Reels. If I'm doing top tier, I just do Instagram. And uh, I like doing in-stream videos and the rest unclicked. And then you hit next. I'll make sure, make sure all the identity is correct. So you have your Facebook page, your Instagram page. And then you're going to add media. You're going to add a video. I'm just going to just do this just for shits and giggles. You get next, next, next. Done. And it's going to upload it. So you'll see it on the right hand side. Then you do primary text, which is your headline. This is what your selling point to get people to listen to it. Describe what your song is feeling. Um, what well, you know um, to get people to click on it. I had this dope track for y'all to listen to. Your headline. I like putting as a headline. Um, just the title of the song. Usually, I like doing that. As you can see, if I scroll down here, it's not showing it for some reason, but it always when you call the action, you always want to click this. It's easy to forget this or miss it because it's not there. You always want to put listen now. You put your toned in link, you have your toned in, you copy that, you put that here, and
I'm just I just wrote something random but as you can see the ads filling up on the right hand side and you see the primary text down here you have the tone down and listen now and that is your ad and now it's uh, the great thing about Facebook they have AI incorporated so you could if you like that you could just kind of re change the wording a little bit but you could use this and you could use the AI generator get ready to groove I guess that's like explosion emoji discover the hottest electronic tunes now you know it's a it's a great it's added feature so it helps you out so use that to your advantage as well if, if you have that there but that is a quick rundown of how I set up the ad and that's pretty much it guys the power of running social media ads as you can see right there running a, just a five dollar a day ad uh, over the course of the next videos I'll be making like these I'll be sharing my ads that I've made for all my pretty much all my songs that I've done this year uh, so I'll be sharing that so if you like that stay tuned for that uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything you want me to focus on I can do a video on that just let me know in the comment section below but I hope you found this video informative and encouraging if you haven't ran any social media ads if not and you're experienced one keep on pushing good luck with the music and thank you for watching peace all right guys that is my video thank you for watching once again if you like what you saw here's a couple more videos to see i also leave a playlist with all these type of videos that i've done in the past of my experience of growing my following this is my experience of just playing around with social media ads and it's actually uh, helped out me a lot as like I've, I've mentioned many times so maybe it'll help you out uh, if not I'll leave a couple videos of something else up here that maybe you find useful if not thank you for watching I appreciate you still and have a great one peace out